people of the interwebs. It's your favorite abandoned warehouse, Sarah here. Back with another car review. And yeah, it's a 2020 Toyota Avalon TRD. Because Toyota apparently now is acting like the Salt Bay, just sprinkling TRD across their model lineup. As they should, every car deserves a performance model. This car shouldn't even exist, but it does. But the question is, what's better, the Camry TRD or the Avalon TRD? Because they're similar, but one of them costs significantly more. Apparently the lead designer of the Avalon looked at the grills on the front of the current Lexus model lineup and was like, hold my beer because this thing looks like it will eat a small car. It is a huge grill and I like it. It is so pissed off and just mean looking. What sets the Avalon TRD apart from the rest of the model lineup is it does have this lip kit that goes all the way around. The front lips look like they would slice your legs off if you walked into them by accident, but don't worry, they're just made of ABS plastic. That won't happen. Despite most of the vents on the front bumper being for looks, the ones on the sides here are functional and you can see the back of them here in the wheel well which is filled up with these 19 inch matte black TRD wheels, as well as these upgraded front brake rotors with two pot calipers that are painted red. I was expecting to see something a little bit bigger since this is a larger car than the Camry, maybe a four piston Brembo, which would have been nice. Hands down, the best part about the TRD Avalon is the styling of the ass end. It really sets itself apart amongst its competitors. And I feel it's a better looking car than the Camry TRD, especially because of these taillights, how it has this weird recessed pocket and angular shape to it. It's a good looking car. It's hard to relate just how big this Avalon is until you see one in person. I mean, this thing is super long and it's a benefit when it comes to interior room, but a huge drawback when it comes to turning radius as I will now demonstrate. <laughs> As far as the interior goes, you guys know I roll. I'm gonna keep it short, sweet, and to the simple and point out to you my physical observations from sitting inside this Avalon TRD. Starting with the biggest differences on this versus the Camry TRD. This is 10 grand more than the Camry and you can clearly see why in the interior. The infotainment system that you get in the Avalon is leaps and bounds above what you get in the Camry. The Camry is not bad, however, the Avalon is luxurious looking and this does have an optional $1,700 JBL sound system that works bueno. You would think with this infotainment screen being so girthy, there would be no room for a right side driver dash vent, but they still managed to squeeze one in there. It's, it's a tiny little wedge. It's like a apartment building in an old European town from the 1600s. Just a little wedge squeezed in there. I found it amusing that the map lights in here look like clear Lego bricks that illuminate with LED lights. Ooh, more Legos smaller bricks. Cute. The TRD embroidered seats with the red stitching and red seat belts, my favorite touch. Red seat belts back here too. My fingers are stuck. Are not as aggressive bolstering as they were in the Camry, but these do have ultra suede inserts in them and just to look a little bit higher class than what you got in the Camry. I like these seats a lot that are in the Avalon. There is a metric butt ton of leg room in this back seat. And I especially appreciate the fact that it's got the little JBL tweeters back here that the piano blacks around on them. And the JBL logo is printed right on the little tweeter thing as well as up on the A-pillars. Because it is a Toyota, all the safety features in here are standard as they should be on every car on the market. If a company has the technology to make a car safer, just make it safer and adjust the price accordingly. This TRD Avalon is equipped with the TRD floor mats and trunk mat. I thought those were standard, but I guess they're not. They should be standard. Ooh, it's piano black with a brushed aluminum trim around that. Ooh, and it's got a little bit of texture in the bottom. Although if you live in a wet, snowy climate, you wouldn't want to destroy your pretty TRD floor mats. That's why they should make TRD rubber floor mats that look identical with the red on them. Hmm? Somebody at Toyota drinks Fiji water because one of the cup holders is square and the other one looks like a mouth. It actually looks like Mike Wazowski smiling at you if you look at the two cup holders. Okay, goodbye. All right, time to start this thing up. Mm -hmm. 
same engine obviously as what's in the Camry and it also has a TRD catback exhaust. It's a little bit quieter in the Avalon I noticed. It's a little less drone, it's probably because of sound insulation. Obviously because the Avalon's 10 grand more than the Camry, you should expect a little bit more on the gauges and you get a little bit more, especially like on the menu for your tire pressure. When you switch it over, it shows the Avalon rotate on the screen and then it reveals the safety features, whether they're enabled or not. And the LED lighting they use in the gauge cluster around your tack and your Speedo are the most vibrant white LED I think I've ever seen in a gauge cluster of a car. It's super pretty. In the name of science, I should now give it the beans. I'm going to keep it in sport mode because it's already in sport mode and I'm going to turn off traction control, turn everything off, hold it down all the way. I'll use manual mode, why not? And I'll give it a little assistance on the launch to see what this thing can do. Ready? Go. Oh, spun the tires a little bit. Go car, go. Rip up that asphalt. Sticky tires. All right, not bad. If it, this is quick. Don't get me wrong, it's quick. But I feel like the camera is just a little bit quicker. I mean, this is just under 100 pounds heavier. It's not a lot. I think the Camry's a little quicker. Hello, and welcome to Garage Science with Sarah. If you buy an Avalon, you better have a big garage to stick it in. Because this thing is long. It barely fits in here. Anyway, powering the Avalon TRD is the same power plant you'll find in the 2020 Camry TRD. It is the 2GR FKS 3.5 liter V6 that produces 301 horsepower at 6,600 RPM and 267 pound-feet of torque at 4,700 RPM. Huh, check that out. Looks like the ECU has some heat sinks built onto it. That's interesting. It utilizes Toyota's D4S system, which is both port and direct fuel injection. This is how bougie the Avalon is. Most cars have a warning to let you know to watch your hands because the engine fan. The Avalon also has one to let you know to watch your tie. And as far as power enhancements go, because it's a TRD model, it has a TRD catback exhaust. But according to Toyota, that doesn't really make any difference in the power rating because it is rated the same as the non-TRD version of the Avalon. Okay, it's time for the braking test. That one behind me, I don't want to do this. Here it goes. Oh, oh my God. What? How? This is only a two pot caliper. Dude, these brakes are, I mean, the clamping force is on point. I don't know about fade resistance, but damn, these are good brakes. I was gonna criticize this for not having Brembo's or at least a four pot up front, but all right. Good brakes, good pedal feel too. Now this does have some tweaks with the brake booster and your pedal stiffness over the traditional Avalon. So there's a reason why it feels so on point. They did a good job though. There's a car enthusiast somewhere up there in Toyota making decisions, I swear. Hi, I'm back. The transmission found in the Avalon is an eight speed auto with ECTI. And the quickest way to summarize that is it learns your driving habits and adjusts accordingly. So that way, if you wanna drive like a grandma, it'll drive like a grandma just well for you. If you wanna give it the business, it will let you give it the business. All right, TRD Avalon, let's see if you're as good as the TRD Camry was on a back road. All that noise you hear are the tires being sticky and picking up asphalt. Avalon. 
six inches lower than a standard Avalon. It does have upgrade dampers, underbody bracing, as well as bigger anti-sway bars and strut bars. Despite this having all season tires on it, there's still quite a bit of grip. I can get it to understeer if I push it real hard. Like right now, it still didn't, it didn't understeer there. extra 50 horsepower maybe like a trd pro version or offer it with a trd supercharger and make it like 400 horse i love modifying cars i love cars like this cars like this are awesome let me know in the comment section below what toyota model would you like to see in a trd version that they don't offer corolla gr corolla as far as normal driving goes this thing is a perfect daily Tons of trunk room, back seats, super comfy, super comfy up front. I wish it had ventilated seats. It's kind of a, a setback. Stereo is on point. Looks amazing. It's unique. You don't see a lot of these. I feel you get what you pay for. The value's adequate. It's not as good of a deal as the Camry was, but it's, you're getting something unique. And that to me is more important. If you guys never seen one of my car reviews before, I have the weirdest way of rating cars on the internet. And that's okay because it's okay to be weird. Service message for all of you weird people. I support you. Anyway, the first category is the bean score. It's a rating of one to five beans based on feeling you get in your gut when you give it the beans. And the Avalon is going to get a rating of 1.5 beans. It's it's quick, it's quicker than your average car, but they didn't really do anything to add horsepower or torque to this thing over the standard model. Despite it having a TRD exhaust, I don't think that really adds much power. Next up is the cookie category, it is a rating of one to five cookies based on what you pay for what you get. It's assessment of value, and the Avalon TRD is going to get a rating of three cookies. The reason being it's getting three is because it exists, it shouldn't exist, and a TRD version of an Avalon. So it's getting three cookies for that reason. For the cost, yeah, it's adequate for what you're getting. The Camry is by far a better deal, but it's getting three just because this happened. Last up is the Penguin score. It has a rating of one to five penguins based on how much I personally like the car. And the Avalon TRD is going to get a rating of three penguins. I appreciate weird performance cars that you wouldn't expect. And to whoever buys one of these things, you are awesome because you have weird taste in cars and I support that. You're not driving a cookie cutter car that everyone else chooses. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon with another. Bye.